Hello and welcome to India's biggest quiz on sports and fitness, the Fit India Quiz. Today we're in Karnataka. Karnataka is also known for its silks, spices and sandalwood. Cricket, football, badminton are some of the famous sports of Karnataka. Karnataka has produced some of the very best sports persons in the country like Anil Kumble, Rahul Dravid, Prakash Padukone and many others. Today, four school teams out of Karnataka will be competing against each other in the Fit India Quiz. So without further ado, let's start the exciting round of quiz. Hello, Namaskara and welcome to the Fit India Quiz as we bring to you the second semi-final of the Karnataka edition. With a total cash award of 3.25 crore rupees, this Fit India Quiz is presented by the Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports and supported by the Ministry of Education. In its second edition, Fit India Quiz saw participation from a total of 61,981 students from 16,702 schools in the preliminary rounds. These 16,702 schools were located in 702 districts of India. This is the Karnataka edition and it's time now to welcome our teams. Namaskar, I am Chandan T studying in Great Ren Chanakya, Polar International School, Tumukuru. My favorite sports is cricket and my uh, sports person is Virat, Virat Kohli. Hello everyone, I am Nuthan Yen studying grade 10. I am from Poda International School, Tumukuru. And my favorite sports is cricket and my favorite sportsman is Virat Kohli. Namaste everyone, I am Tarun and I am studying in the Shakambari Vidyani Ketana Church Buddha, Badami Bagalpur. And I am studying in the 9th, 10th grade. So my favorite sport person is Mahendra Singh Dhoni. Namaskara, my name is Rushti and I am studying in 9th grade. From Shakamari, Vidyaniketana, Chorus Gurda, Badami, Bhagavad So my favourite sport is cricket and my favourite sports person is Mahindra Singh Namaskara, my name is Puneet Ravindran and I am from Sri Sri Ravishankar Vidya Mandir. I like basketball and my favourite player is Lebron James. Hello everyone, I am K. Sandhu Sarkar from class 12 in Sri Sri Ravishankar Vidya Mandir. I like to play basketball and my uh, favourite basketball player is Kevin Durant. Hello everyone, uh, myself Vivek Otri. Uh, and uh, we just passed the 12th from uh, Government Science PU College, Kalkati. And I love playing cricket. And my favorite uh, sports persons are uh, Virat Kohli and ABD videos. Hi everyone, my name is Nevin Goda Vindar. Uh, we just passed the uh, 12th from Go- Government Science PU College, Kalkati. As uh, uh, he, uh, my f- uh, favorite sports persons are Virat Kohli and ABD. Thank you for these lovely introductions, teams. We wish you all the very best. So let's begin with the Fit India quiz. It's time now for our first round, Get. Teams will be asked four questions in the form of anagrams or jumbled letters. All anagrams shown will be open to all teams on the buzzer. A team that presses the buzzer first gets to answer. A correct answer is worth 100 points. And remember, there will be no negative marking in this round. Well, we're clear with the rules. So let's take a look at the first question of this Karnataka semi-final two right here on our screens. Identify this famous cricket ground. And your buzzers are live now. Three teams, in fact, have gone ahead and pressed the buzzer on this question, but the quickest was Sri Sri Ravi Shankar Vidya Mandir. Go ahead, team, tell us what your answer is. Harare Sports Club. Harare Sports Club, you say. A lot of confidence there in this team. Go ahead, let's find out if that's the correct answer. Indeed, it wins you 100 points. A fantastic start to this Karnataka semi-final too. Sri Sri Ravi Shankar Vidya Mandir answers this question correctly and gets 100 points for it. Well done. We quickly move on to the second question of this round right here on your screens. Identify this famous football stadium. And your buzzers are live now. Two schools have gone ahead and pressed the buzzer, but Poda International School Tumakuru is the first. Go ahead team, tell us what your answer is. 
both our international school you need to go ahead and give us your answer ikhuslin stadium ikhuslin stadium you say all right i'm not too sure about that but let's find out what the correct answer is the correct answer that we were looking for was the lujniki stadium oh good try there by podar international school but they do not win any points for that right then moving on to the third question of this round here it is on your screens identify this famous track athlete and your buzzers are live now It's Government Science PU College which is the first to press the buzzer on this question. Go ahead team tell us what your answer is. Abhinash. Donavan. Could you Donavan Gabnash? Is that what you said? All right. Government Science PU College says their answer is Donavan Gabnash. I'm not too sure about that at all, but let's find out what the correct answer is. It's Vandana Shanbag, the iconic track athlete from India who represented India at the 1988 Seoul Olympics. Wow, that was uh, way off, I must say. Three questions are done in this round. One more to go. Let's see what it is. Okay, identify this famous swimmer. And your buzzers are live now. Four teams have gone ahead and pressed the buzzer. All four schools have pressed the buzzer. But uh, if I'm not wrong, Government Science PU College was the first to press the buzzer. Team, go ahead and tell us what your answer is. Uh, Nisha Mittal. Nisha Mittal, you say. Yes. Ooh, let's see if that wins you 100 points or not. Incorrect. You were very close there. It is not Nisha Mittal, but Nisha Millet. Good try there once again by Government Science PU College. And that was the end of our first round. Let's take a look at the points and see which school stands where. All right, with uh, one question being answered correctly, we have Srichi Ravi Shankar Vidya Mandir. Uh, they're on the top of the heap with 100 points. Government Science PU College, Podar International School, Tumakuru, and Shakambari Vidya Niketana uh, are yet to open their account in this Karnataka semi-final two, but. Fret not, we still have two more rounds of exciting quizzing to go. And let's see which team does better in the next two rounds. Fitness is a lifestyle and helps you in leading a healthy and a prosperous life. Let's take a look at it. Now it's time for the second round, which is called Set. So before we begin our second round, a quick look at the rules and scoring patterns of this round. Each team will be shown a set of six subjects on the screen. Teams have to choose a subject from the set shown. Teams can use any of two available helplines, but only once. Helpline 1 is show options where you'll be displayed with three options to the question that you've chosen. Helpline 2, however, is swap a question but within the same subject. Remember, teams get 100 points on direct answers but 50 points on using the helpline. Remember once again, there are no negative points in this round. Well, we're very clear with our rules and regulations for the second round. Let's take a look at our six subjects. 
So there you have it. The six subjects are up on the screen for all four teams. We have cricket, fitness, health and nutrition, football, indoor and traditional sports, mixed bag and multi-sport events. So first up, we have Podar International School, Tomakuru. Which subject would you like to choose? We would like to choose cricket. <laughs> Podar International School chooses cricket as their subject. Let's find out what their question is. Identify this cricketer, a member of the 1983 Cricket World Cup winning team. You have a picture of him there on your screen. Remember, if you have a doubt, you have two helplines, one of which you can use in your question. Ravi Shastri. You've gone ahead and given me an answer and you've said Ravi Shastri. Let's find out if that wins you 100 points or not. Incorrect answer there, Bodhar International School. It isn't Ravi Shastri. The correct answer that we were looking for was Madan Lal. Remember teams, if you have even an iota of doubt while you're playing this round, use your helplines. Right, we'll move on to the second team in this round. We'll take a look at our six subjects once again and find out which subject Shakhambari Vidya Niketan goes for. You would like to choose cricket, sir. All right, Shakhambari Vidya Niketan also choosing cricket as their subject. Let's see what question they get. For which team did Zahir Alam and Lal Chand Rajput put on a partnership of 475 runs, still a record for the second wicket in the Ranji Trophy. So we would like to take helpline. All right, they would like to take a helpline. They say, which helpline would you like to go for? We would like to choose options. If you like to go for helpline one, show options. Let's take a look at your three options. Three options there on your screen, A, Assam, B, Bihar, C, Maharashtra. Remember team, your question is now worth only 50 points because you've used your helpline. So choose your option carefully. So uh, we would like to go with Maharashtra. You would like to go for C, Maharashtra. Let's find out what the answer is. Unfortunately, Maharashtra is not the correct answer that we were looking for. They were in fact playing for Assam at that time and uh, the record still holds as the question states. Tough luck there to Shakambri Vidya Niketana. We'll move on now to Sri Sri Ravi Shankar Vidya Mandir. We would like to choose fitness, health and nutrition. You would like to choose fitness, health and nutrition. Alright, let's take a look at your question. Which macronutrient provides the highest number of calories per gram? We would go with uh, helpline number one, show options. You would like to go for helpline number one, show options. Here are your, here, uh, here are your options on the screen. Three options there. Option A says carbohydrates. Option B says fats. Option C says proteins. We'll go with uh, option number B, fats. You would like to go for option B, fats. All right, let's see if that wins you 50 points. Indeed, it does. Fats is absolutely right. Good calculated approach there by Sri Sri Vidya Mandir. Uh, good calculated approach there by Sri Sri Ravi Shankar Vidya Mandir and they have won themselves 50 points for their question. We'll move on very quickly to Government PU Science College. We'll move on now to Government Science PU College and see which subject they choose. So, we would uh, like to choose Fitness, Health and Nutrition. They would also like to go for Fitness, Health and Nutrition. Let's find out what their question is. 
Which fitness regimen is named for the person seen here? And see a picture there, a black and white picture, mind you. So we need helpline one. Swap a question. Sorry, helpline one is show options. Helpline two uh, is swap a question. Swap a question. Swap a question. All right. So you would like to use helpline number two, swap a question. Let's give them a new question. All right. Here's your new question. What type of exercise focuses on improving flexibility, balance, and body awareness through slow and controlled movements? Remember, you've used your helpline, so that means this question is worth only 50 points if you get it right. Uh, aerobics. Aerobics, you say. Ooh, that's a good try, I must say, but let's find out what is the correct answer. Unfortunately, aerobics doesn't win you 50 points. Had you said Pilates, however, that would have won you 50 points. Well, tough luck there to Government Science PU College. A good try, I must say. Well, that was the end of our second round. Let's take a look once again at the leaderboard and see which team stands where. We seem to have a similar standing after the first round and after the second round. We still have Sri Sri Ravi Shankar Vidya Mandir comfortably in the lead with 150 points. However, Government Science PU College, Podar International School and Shakambari Vidya Niketana are yet to open their account. We still have one more round to go, lots more points to be won. As we slip into the third and final round, we have an exciting and a holistic mobile application for you that makes staying fit and active very simple and easy and guess what? It is absolutely free. The Fit India mobile app available on Play Store and Apple Store is the only app which allows you to measure your fitness score with the fitness parameters based on age-appropriate fitness protocol approved by the World Health Organization. Furthermore, you have customized diet plans, step counter, sleep tracker and many more features which help keep a track of your daily habits. Let's know more about the Fit India mobile app. लाइफ में चैलेंजेस कभी भी और कहीं भी आ सकते हैं और हम इनका अच्छे से तभी सामना कर सकते हैं जब हम तैयार हों इनको फेस करने के लिए हम अगर हेल्दी और फिट हैं तो हमारी तैयारी और भी बेहतर हो जाती है बस जरूरत है थोड़ी सी मेहनत थोड़े से अनुशासन की प्रेजेंटिंग फिट इंडिया मोबाइल ऐप आपका फिटनेस गाइड और पर्सनल हेल्थ ट्रेनर पहली बार अब भारत का हर एक नागरिक अपना फिटनेस कोर पता करके जान पाएगा कि वो कितना फिट है आप अपनी आयु के अनुसार अपने फिटनेस कोर की जांच कर सकते हैं ये सुविधा खास आपके लिए पहली बार शुरू की जा रही है ये ऐप आपके फिटनेस रूटीन को ट्रैक कर सारा डेटा स्टोर करता है ताकि आप अपनी प्रोग्रेस देख सकें और फिट रहने के नए और आसान नुस्खे अपना पाए इस ऐप के साथ आप बन सकते हैं खुद के फिटनेस मास्टर उसके बाद हम आपके फिटनेस रूटीन को बनाने में आपकी मदद करेंगे फिटनेस की दुनिया में कदम रखें मोटिवेटेड रहें और अपडेटेड रहें और सबसे अच्छी बात है कि इन सारी सुविधाओं का लाभ आप पा सकते हैं एकदम फ्री बस अपने एंड्रॉइड और एप्पल डिवाइस पर हमारे ऐप का हिंदी और इंग्लिश वर्जन डाउनलोड करें और शुरू हो जाइए आपका फिट रहने का सपना अब है एक क्लिक दूर फिटनेस की डोज now it's time for our third and final round, which is all go. So before we begin our third and final round, a quick look at the rules and scoring patterns for this round. A total of six questions will be asked, which will be open to all the teams. The team that presses the buzzer first will get the chance to answer. Teams have to answer immediately upon being asked by the quiz master. A delay or a pause of over three seconds will be treated as a no answer. Each correct answer will get a team 50 points. And however, a wrong answer or a no answer will cost the team 50 points. Which means if you get it right, you get a plus 50. If you get it wrong or take time or give no answer, you will get a minus 50. Right, we're clear with the third and final round rules and regulations and scoring patterns. 
This is an all-important round for all the teams, might I add. Please go ahead and give it your best shot. Let's take a look at our first question of this third and final round of the Karnataka Semi-Final 2. Here it is on your screens. To which country does the famous football player Kalidu Kulibali belong? And your buzzers are live now. And it's Sri Sri Ravi Shankar Vidya Mandir once again pressing the buzzer first among all the four teams. Go ahead team, tell us what your answer is. Senegal? Senegal you say. Well, let's find out if that wins you a plus 50 or a minus 50. And it is the right answer. Plus 50 to Sri Sri Ravi Shankar Vidya Mandir. They extend their lead with 50 more points. Good answer there by that team. One question done, five more questions to go, which means 250 points still to be made. Or you never know, even lost. Let's take a look at the second question of this round. Santiago Bernabeu is the home ground of which La Liga football club? Your buzzers are live now. And it is Sri Sri Ravi Shankar Vidya Mandir once again pressing the buzzer first among all the teams. Go ahead team, tell us what your answer is. Real Madrid? Real Madrid, they say. I think that might just win you 50 points, but let's find out what the correct answer is. Indeed, it does. Real Madrid is the correct answer. 50 more points to Sri Sri Ravi Shankar Vidya Mandir there. Two questions done. Four more to go. Here's your next question on your screens. With which sport is the name of Australian Don Fraser associated? And your buzzers are live now. Okay, Sri Sri Ravi Shankar Vidya Mandir once again pressing the buzzer first. Go ahead team, tell us what your answer is. Lawn tennis. Lawn tennis you say? Alright, let's see if Sri Sri Ravi Shankar can make it three questions in a row. Unfortunately, they do not. They said lawn tennis, but the correct answer that we were looking for was swimming. An iconic swimmer there, Dawn Fraser. She is one of the few athletes who has actually scored a gold medal in her event, that is 100 meters freestyle, across three different Olympic Games editions. Well, a nice try, I must say, by Sri Sri Ravi Shankar Vidya Mandir, but unfortunately, they get a minus 50. Three questions done, three more to go. Let's take a look at the next question. In which card game is the term master point used? And your buzzers are live now. Odar International School Tumakuru is the first to press the buzzer on this question. Go ahead team, tell us what your answer is. Volleyball. Volleyball you say? Oh, I'm not too sure if you read that question correctly. Uh, well, let's find out what the correct answer is. The correct answer is bridge. Uh, I was asking about a card game, playing cards. That's what we were looking for. Um, I don't know how Podar International thought it was uh, a ball game that we were looking for. They said volleyball, but the correct answer is bridge. That means they get a minus 50 for that answer. All right, four more questions. Four questions done, two more to go. Let's take a look at the penultimate question of this semi-final. For which team in the IPL did the South African player Faf Duplessis play in the 2023 season? And your buzzers are live now. All four teams have pressed the buzzer on this question. However, we have a familiar face 
which is the first to press the buzzer. And guess what? It is Sri Sri Ravi Shankar Vidya Mandir once again. Go ahead, team. Tell us what your answer is. Uh, he played for Royal Challengers Bangalore. In fact, he even captained it. He played for Royal Challengers Bangalore. In fact, even captained it. Well, let's see what the correct answer is. Absolutely right. The captain of the Royal Challengers Bangalore was indeed Park Duplessis. Correct answer there by Sri Sri Ravi Shankar Vidya Mandir. 50 points to them on this question. Moving on to the last and final question, barring a tie, of course, of this semi final of the Karnataka edition. Right here on your screens. What was the surname of the Indian father son duo? who have won both the boys' title at Wimbledon. And your buzzers are alive now. And it's Sri Sri Ravi Shankar Vidya Mandir once again. I think they really want to go ahead and go for the kill in this quiz. Go ahead team, tell us what your answer is. Uh, it's Ramanathan Krishna. So, what is the surname that you're going for? Krishnan. You're going for Krishnan. All right, let's see if that wins you 50 points. Absolutely right. Krishnan is the correct answer. The iconic father son duo, which represented India and done so well, uh, are Ramanathan Krishnan and his son, Ramesh Krishnan, both of whom who won the boys' title or the junior men's title at the Wimbledon. Great answer there by Sri Sri Ravi Shankar Vidya Mandir. 50 more points to them. And with that question, we conclude the third and final round. Let's take a look at the final scoreboard of the Karnataka semi-final two right here on your streets. All right, uh, finishing off in uh, fourth position, we have a Podar International School. Unfortunately, it just wasn't their day today at the office and they finish off with a minus 50. We seem to have a tie for the second position at this point of time between Government Science PU College and Shakambari Vidya Niketan, both of which are tied at zero points. I'm afraid to say both of them also did not have a great day out in the field, but however, we hope that they do better in this tiebreaker round. Now, the tiebreaker round is between Government Science PU College and Shakambari Vidya Niketana only, which means the other two teams, that Sri Sri Ravi Shankar Vidya Mandir and Podar International School, can sit back and just relax. The rules for the tiebreaker round are the same as the third and final puzzle round that we just concluded, which means we'll be reading out questions off the screen. And once I read out the question, I will say your buzzers are live now. If you know the answer, go ahead and press the buzzer. Once you press the buzzer, you have to go ahead and give me an answer. A delay or a pause can have it been declared as a no answer. If you give a right answer, you get 50 points and you finish second. But if you give an incorrect answer, you get a minus 50 automatically. That means the other team then qualifies. Right, we are clear with the rules and regulations. Let's take a look at the first question of this tiebreaker round between Government Science PU College and Shakambari Vidya Niketana. Which female tennis player did Novak Djokovic take on in a mini set to commemorate the China Open's 10th anniversary in 2013? And your buzzers are live now. All right, none of the teams have gone ahead and pressed the buzzer on this question. Looks like they're taking a very cautious approach. So we'll have to close this question now and let's find out what the correct answer is. The correct answer that we were looking for was Lee Na. Right, one question done in this tiebreaker round. We'll move on to the next one. Here it is on your screens. How many pockets does a regulation pool or pocket billiards table have? And your buzzers are live now. Both teams went ahead and pressed the buzzer on this question, but it was Government Science PU College 
pressing the buzzer first there in this tie break round. Go ahead, team. Tell us what your answer is. Is it six? Is it six? They say. Well, there's only one way to find out what the answer is. Six is the correct answer. A great answer there by Government Science P U College. They were really quick with that buzzer on that question, and they got it spot on. Six pockets are there in a regulation pool or pocket billiards table. Well done to you. You got yourself 50 points, and you have won this tiebreaker round. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll quickly go ahead and take a look at the final scoreboard of this Karnataka semi-final two once again, and tell you what the final standings are. Well, there you have it. The final leaderboard is here on your screens. For the international school, finishing off with minus 50. Shah Kambari with the Anikhet and never just got to a start uh, today and finished off with zero points. Government Science PU College fought it out in that tiebreak round with Shah Kambari with the Anikhet and got themselves those prized 50 points. But winning this quiz and decimating their rivals completely. And being the quickest on the buzzer almost every single time was Sri Sri Ravi Shankar Vidya Mandir with 300 points. So I'm very happy to announce that Sendur and Puneet from Sri Sri Ravi Shankar Vidya Mandir are the winners of this quiz of the Fit India quiz. Congratulations to both of you and congratulations to Sri Sri Ravi Shankar Vidya Mandir School as well. Government Science PU College students, that is. Naveen Gowda and Vivek, who have gone ahead and qualified for the next round as well. You all move to the next round of the Fit India Quiz. So that's it then in this episode of the Fit India Quiz. You had a very interesting episode here at the Karnataka semi-final too. But we'll see you very soon in the next episode. But till then, keep fit, India. Mm.